you strike me as a fairly wise individual. Do you ever feel like, having seen a lot of different things happen in this industry, in this sport, there must have been an element of frustration for you uh, for, a, for a little while. And now, how things have turned out, you're in the UFC, you got a huge win against one of the best guys in the division, you got thousands upon thousands of new followers, and now you're one of the most popular fighters around. Is it funny to you? Like, I feel like all you can do is laugh in that situation. Yeah, no, I think that's exactly. Right. I can't even figure. I can't figure out the psychology behind it. I mean, no, not if thousands upon thousands. That's like uh, an understatement. I mean, my my Instagram, which I don't really love Instagram, but it went from twenty seven thousand to four hundred thousand in, in like three months. I mean, it's it's mind blowing. Um, and so yeah, I don't know why people's perception has changed on I me mean, because it's not like I've changed. I'm, I'm the same dude I've always been. Um, and just all of a sudden, perception totally shifted. It, it's really funny. So uh, whatever, I'm good with it. I'm just gonna keep it rolling. Um, and yeah, get, getting the first win felt really good, and I'm excited to get back in there and fight again. I think one of your strongest characteristics is probably your love of competition, whether it's wrestling, MMA, and you always spoke about the only thing that would get you back in the game is is somebody of high level. And Robbie Lawler is exactly that. He was a world champion. Do you feel that you got tested? Do you get something big out of that as a competitor that you really, you got tested, you came through it, and you got a victory? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the thing about that fight, that yeah, it's something that's not, I didn't write the script, I didn't want it to go that way, but you know, people got to see a side of me that they haven't seen before. You know, they got to see how I dealt with diversity. They got to see how tough I am. And they got to see that I was able to still find a way to get a win uh, in bad situations. So you know, I think those are three really important characteristics. And I don't think those uh, have ever shown before. Obviously, they showed before in my wrestling career. But, you know, a lot of people didn't pay attention to my wrestling career. That was a long time ago. Uh, but those are the first time those three had to be shown in my fighting career. So I've barely seen you get hit uh, in your time out in Asia. So was it weird for you? Do you spar hard in the gym? Or was it something you were like, well, I haven't felt this in maybe years? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 uh, I try to cut back on the hard sparring. Obviously, I, I think there's something to that. I don't think it's necessary. I did quite a bit when I was younger, but not as much as I got older. Um, and really, in a fight... I haven't been in a bad situation. I mean, even if you go all the way back to Bellator, all of my Bellator fights, I haven't been in a bad situation like that ever. And that's, you know, that that's what you guys are. Uh, that's why I said I think it's cool that you guys got to see that. Um, I hope it doesn't happen again. I hope you guys don't get to see that again. But, it, it, you know, for me, it's there if I need it. So I think a big reason that a lot of the fans are having so much fun is – you're kind of a good, you're refreshing for the division and you're kind of a good matchup for anyone in terms of entertainment. And there's, even having arrived in London, you've got Till talking, you've got Masvidal talking. There's the Usman storyline, you know, avenging your friend Tyron's loss. And then everyone, I feel like, wants to have a go at Colby. So, so what's next and, and which is the most fun? Well, I came to London to pick a fight with the winner of Till Masvidal. So I think that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, both of them are right, right now. They're trying to come up with excuses as to why they shouldn't have to fight me, which is hilarious. It's just absolutely hilarious. Um, I mean, you got Darren Till saying is something as stupid as uh, he needs to work his way up, and it's like Darren, you're the number three guy fighting the number the eleven guy, and I'm the number six guy. So you look like an idiot right now. Just shut up. Just stop talking. How much stock do you put in the rankings? Cause I know there's lots of different points of view. Do you? give credence to the rankings? Do you think they work? Would you like to see them improve? Um, yeah, not, not, I mean, they do mean something, obviously, but not too much. I mean, I think we have, what's it, number five and number six, Gastelum and Adesanya fighting for the title. So, you know, you have the champion, one, two, three, and four, who are not fighting for the title. So um, I don't think they're the end-all, be-all, but I, I think it's important that you um, for me, that you know, and for me, like you said, I haven't fought anybody, so it's it's not like I have to fight number one through five if I'm number six. I could fight a seven or eight. I could fight a four or five or three, right? I could fight any of those guys. Obviously, the champion and the number one, um, Colby and Usman, they're fighting, so those guys are preoccupied for the time being. Chant, chant number two is Tyron, or Tyron's number one, Colby's number two, so I'm not fighting Tyron. So, yeah, so then I look at, okay, who's three, four, and five, um, and that's kind of who, um, who I'm targeting. 